Well, over there is the ancient Zhengyang Gate. And right over, that's Tiananmen Square. And right there is the Grand Great Hall of the People. That's where we're heading. Yeah, you know, I'm heading to the Great Hall of the People for the first time to cover the two sessions. Um, how, what are you expecting from this major political event? Well, I'm excited and a little bit curious. And I really want to see what happens during the two sessions. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to some of the delegates and meet some of the journalists from around the world. In fact, from my understanding, over 3,000 journalists have registered for this event. Yeah, you are one of them. And <laughs> yeah. uh, I bet you will be excited. I am. <laughs> Have you been inside the Great Hall of the People before? Actually, I was inside about 15 years ago when I met the then governor of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And it was a small meeting, but it was memorable. But this time it's going to be totally different because I'll get to see how China's top legislator convenes. And it's something that really will grab the world's attention. It's crowded here. <laughs> it's really crowded and it's very colorful. Look at all the people and some of them have their ethnic costumes. Yes, nearly 3,000 MPs deputies are entering the hall mm -hmm. to attend the opening meeting of the second session of the 14th MPC that will begin momentarily. Mm -hmm. And there also will be over 2,000 political advisors who will be attending. You know what I've noticed about some of the MPC deputies is that they share their concern for the people they represent. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they're dedicated to their work. Right. Not only that, they really are proud of some of the progress that happens in the places they're from. Yes, yes. And in fact, we're going to meet one of the people, I hope, later on. She's coming in from Jilin, so looking forward to seeing her. Okay, I hope I, hope I can know her too. All the journalists are here right now. That's their best time to uh, meet some of the deputies and mm -hmm. talk to them. I'm sure they all have stories, that's for sure. We want to find out yeah. how they're related to this. That'd yes. be great. Well, I heard the sound. I know that it's just about to begin. Yes, let's get inside. Wow, you know, this is really exciting. You can see the deputies and members coming in and they're sitting on the lower floor, but here we are on the upper floor with all the media. And you can see, if you look around, there are about a thousand journalists joining us up here to watch. With all the cameras and the photographers that uh, wanted to uh, capture some great shots. Mm. I've covered the two sessions six times, but still I got this fresh feeling and I got the same excitement as you do. I am excited and it is a very special feeling. And let's wait for the session to begin. Premier Li Chang delivered a government work report at the meeting. The annual economic development goals were revealed. Key indicators include the country's targets on gross domestic product growth, inflation, the ratio of deficit to, to GDP, employment, and foreign trade and investment, among others. China's ability to plan effectively and consistently achieve its goals amazes me. The reason behind China's success relates to its system. For instance, during the two sessions, I truly witnessed every delegate earnestly addressing the issues faced by the ordinary people and seeking solutions. Following the conclusion of the opening ceremony, I plan to meet with Han Fengsheng, an MPC deputy I met four years ago. She has been a proponent of modern agriculture and has worked to assist local villagers in her cooperative to increase their income. Han Fengsheng! Hi! Hello! We're going to meet you again! Wow! Wow! It's been about four years and want to know, what has happened since the last time I saw you in Jilin? Anything good? Have you brought any suggestions to this two sessions? 
呃，现在的这个呃机器化发展的速度也非常的快，所以说我这次带来的建议是关于加大农机方面的支持力度。How does it feel to be an NPC deputy? 作为人大代表，呃，其实工作挺难的，<笑>但是因为我们要担起人大代表的责任。呃，这也是我们的一个担子，嗯、呃，所以说的，呃，在履职期间，呃，我也是多次的啊，呃，走入各家各户，呃，包括呃我们农民的发展和我们农民农业新兴主体的呃发展的一些个难点，呃，困点，呃，也争取呃把它更好的哈。带到我们的人民大会堂，当然，我也会把我们丰收的喜悦也带到人民大会堂。So this is your photo after four years, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We're at the minister's passage, and、uh, it, it has the name because it happens on the walkway leading up to the main hall of the Great Hall of the People. And now we're waiting for the event to begin. It's really an opportunity for the ministers to directly engage with the media. And there will be a, a, a wide range of topics that are concerning the public. And I'm not sure what today's topic is going to be. We're going to check out, but normally they can cover, you know, education, healthcare, technology, all kinds of. And the good thing is they get really quick answers. It really does open up a window to China's development. Let's wait and see. Four ministers took turns answering many questions from the media on the scene. They come from various sectors in China. Their responses effectively addressed the concerns. I could feel the breakthroughs China has achieved in different fields. You know, it's really been an incredible journey of insights and interviews and unforgettable moments. I'm proud to be an American to join journalists from around the world covering the two sessions, and to have some insight into how decisions are made and policies are implemented in shaping China's future. And also this year,、uh, the NPC marks its、uh, 70th anniversary, and the CPPCC marks its 75th. So、uh, the two sessions are blending tradition with the modernity.、Uh, the evolution of the two sessions really embodies the dynamic progress of a nation steadfastly advancing towards Chinese modernization. <laughs> Chinese lawmakers and political advisors are making a big difference in improving people's lives. For me, it's a shining example of China's whole process, people's democracy.